YouTube with you and subscribe to 60 Dark King and today we are going to do another let's watch and reaction for death battle today Kenny vs Sonya aka Street Fighter vs Mortal Kombat and it's about damn time anyway disclaimer this before criticism purpose and as such is protected under the law of fair use I have no interest whatsoever in any copyright shenanigans so without further ado let's get to it before that I'd say Sonya wins, because there's a chance that Kim is stronger, but Sonya has the cooler toys. So, without further ado, fight! Mystical ninjas, evil sorcerers, gods. Tournaments <laughs> these days seem to attract all sorts, don't they? And yet there's always a few seemingly ordinary people brave enough, or stupid enough, to step into the ring. Like Cammy White, Street Fighter's assassin turned British secret agent. And Sonya Blade, the Special Forces General of Mortal Kombat. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, who threw this prize? Perfect. For most of her life, Cammy White was a pawn of the evil Shadaloo crime syndicate run by the wannabe dictator M. Bison. I don't know about pawn, she was his top bodyguard, so basically a lot more important. Maybe more like one of those horsey pieces. Like the oh. knight? No whiz, the horse that moves like an L. Come on, yes. learn your chest, you're supposed to be smart. <sighs> Not only was she Bison's top bodyguard, but also the leader of his dolls, a group of brainwashed teenage girls trained to be ruthless, unstoppable assassins. What happens if all their cycles sink? Her leadership roles come not <laughs> just from her skills as a killer, but also because she just so happens to be a female clone of Bison himself. How does oh, that happen? The white gene. It gets weirder. Aware his psycho power was deteriorating his current body, so... Bison planned to possess her. I have a lot of questions. Cammy served Bison blindly until she met the mystical yogi Dalsim, who used <laughs> his power to grant her something she never had, willpower and self-awareness. Realizing that Bison is actually the bad guy, Cammy joined the Delta Red British Special Forces and the fight against Shadaloo. With her training from both camps, Cammy is deadly up close with ruthless sweeping attacks, keeping her foes on the defensive. She can rush like a drill with Spiral Arrow, a move so agile it passes under projectiles. Her hooligan approach flips through the air like some sort of deranged spider monkey to lay the smack down in a ton of ways, like the fatal leg twister, which is fatal. She also uses her cannon spike and cannon strike to control the flow of battle. And like most cannons, Cammy's signature attacks have higher caliber versions. Well, being a clone of Bison, she does have latent psychopower abilities, a dark energy fueled by evil and hatred. Sure, but I was talking about her EX and super moves. Oh, of course, like the deadly cross stinger assault or the Cammy quick combination. Get it? CQC! With which she snaps her opponent's bones not once, not twice, but three times. She's also wow, an expert hurt. knife thrower, agile enough to dodge bullets, and for a 134 pound secret agent Barbie, is pretty damn strong. I mean, she can kick cars to death and stood up after falling out of an airplane. She survived blows from the world class boxer Balrog, a fighter so strong he once killed an elephant with a single punch. Elephants are known to frequently smash down trees with their skulls, which means they can withstand a force of over 10,000 pounds. That's like getting Damn. hit in the face with a truck! Unfortunately, despite being a clone of one of the deadliest people on the planet, Cammy isn't a perfect warrior. Her control of psychopower in particular is extremely limited at best, usually only manifesting during times of extreme rage, and many of her moves can leave her vulnerable if misfired. Still, I think twice before picking a street fight with Cammy White. She's got legs and she knows how to use them. And damn, what an ass! Ah, I know, I know. <laughs> Take your five dollars. Still worth it. Told you you couldn't go the whole script without mentioning it. Wiz, if I could die and come back, it would be as that leotard. You can skip the trip down memory lane. Tell me who you want me to kill. 
As a young girl, Sonya Blade idolized her Marine father and enlisted to follow in his footsteps. By the age yeah. of 26, she was a member of a U.S. Special Forces unit in pursuit of the criminal Kano. Which ended up being a lot more trouble than she expected when she found herself in a tournament fighting gods, demons, and monsters, all while movie star Johnny Cage tried to get in her fans. This was Mortal Kombat, a oh, tournament seriously. decreed by Elder Gods where a realm, or alternate dimension, may challenge another realm for world-conquering rights. Sonya joined the Defenders of Earthrealm to stop the evil Shao Kahn's world domination and succeeded. But most of them died, except for Sonya and Johnny, of course, who married and had a kid. Lucky Johnny, I'd love to settle down with a lady that has such an impressive resume and kicking ass. Sonya has decades of combat experience that's prepared her for pretty much anything. She's fought cyborgs, ninjas, cyborg ninjas. Her Kenpo yeah, and Taekwondo sure. training emphasizes speed, agility, and defense. And she shows her mastery by leaping into the air, grabbing foes with her legs, and slamming them down in a backflip faster than the blink of an eye. She's got Cali sticks, a wind blade, frag grenades, smoke grenades, stun grenades, and a garo wire for silent kills. But my favorite is her high tech bracelet, which lets her hover in the air and oh, shoot lasers. It even controls a remote drone, complete with a cutting gun, perfect toys. camouflaging systems, machine guns, even RPGs. I think I'm in love. With what? The drone? Sonia? Dronia. Uh huh. I think twice about that though. Most guys wouldn't dare lock lips with a woman who has moves like fire kiss, crush kiss, slice kiss, poison kiss, or the really? kiss of death. Yeah, plus she's strong enough to rip a guy in half with just her legs. And I don't know if I want to be in between that. In the early 1800s, it was common practice to tie criminals between horses, which pulled them apart. Except even four horses playing tug of war don't often have the strength to rip people in half. Yet Sonya can do so with ease. Impressive. Almost as impressive as karate chopping a steel anvil in half. It's as ridiculous as it looks. Assuming the anvil is made of common steel, it would take over 90,000 pounds per square inch of force to break. To compare, yeah, 1969 totally enough. boxing champion Ernie Shavers delivered the strongest punch in boxing history at 1600 PSI. Meaning, Sonya's punch has over 56 times more power than the hardest hitting boxer ever known. No wonder she was strong enough to take down Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Jax, and even Quan Chi, ruler of the Netherrealm, back to back. Of course, throughout decades of military experience, she has made plenty of mistakes. Her short fuse has gotten herself and her troops in trouble more than once. And while her tech and weaponry lets her keep up with otherworldly warriors, a smart opponent can use her over-reliance on gadgets against her. Still, there's something pretty special about a lady who can rip a guy in half without breaking a sweat. We need a strategic plan of attack. I got one! Combat time! Yeah, we got a plan. All right, attack. the are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Well, I may think Sonya wins. Let's see if I'm right. in custody who are you you actor what organization do you work for let's call it enhanced training get in my way and pay the price spoiler alert you lose from my foot to your ass Fight. Get with the program, kiddo.
The toys. You gotta love the toys. Not as tough as you look. Finish her! Fatality. I've got this son of a bitch. No! Always gotta be the hard way. <laughs> KO! Fatality! Cammy might have had an edge in speed and agility, but Sonya's far superior strength, arsenal, tactics, and experience overwhelmed her. Sonya's fought opponents who have led uh, armies and conquered worlds and taken them on back to back. Sure, Cammy's done the same, that, just no, never against needed. quite such an impressive lineup. Sonya has about 10 years worth of military experience over Cammy, and it's not like she was pushing papers all that time. When she <laughs> wasn't chasing down war criminals on her own, she was a longtime leader against multiple interdimensional invasions. Cammy did a lot with Delta Red, but nothing which stacks up to Sonya's resume. And hey, Indeed. Cammy's durability of an elephant is impressive, but you know what's tougher than that? Solid steel. True, and while Cammy was adept at dodging projectiles, she couldn't keep it up against Sonya's large arsenal attacking from multiple angles at once. Looks like I like said, Cammy's only half that toys. the woman Sonya is. The winner is Sonya Blade. It's always the toy. Next time on Death Battle. So who's next? So which one's your favorite? Overwatch! Oh heck yeah! I guess who's TF2? Yeah, Tracer! <laughs> Okay, Tracer versus Discount? Sure, why not? Hey guys, I'm Ben, I play Wiz. I'm Chad, I play Boomstick. And next time we've got Tracer from Overwatch, but who's she gonna be fighting? You can find out by sticking to our Instagram, that's official screw attack, and we'll be announcing her opponent very soon. That's right, and you can watch all of our videos early, plus get discounts and merch by becoming a first member. It's a great way to support the show. Just click the link in the description below and start a free trial. And for now, you can Tracer watch our other show, Scout. Desk of Death Battle. We've got an episode oh, out right now. It's all about Deadpool versus Thanos. In the battlefield of love. Thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, that was shorter than usual. Maybe it's because of the, to this price. Still, not bad. In any way, shape, or form. Uh, the animation seemed a little slow, but maybe it's because I'm not used to the sprites anymore. Well, this one's. Anyway, people, hope you enjoyed it. I hope to, <clears throat> to see you soon. And until next time, see you around. Ta-ta!